Right, uh, heading out of Palapie. I've been here for about maybe an hour. Sun's coming out, spot of rain, but I've decided to give uh, Moremi a miss. It just feels too uh, too risky. Um, so let me get to Francis Town, settle into the same Airbnb that I was going to be on Sunday. Uh, she said I can come two nights early, and then I'll just have a chilled five days in in uh, in Francis Town. So let's get on the road. So just another reflection, of course, is that I did, uh, well, I left half past seven, let's call it, I was by 11, so that was uh, half past seven, uh, down 10, it was three, three and three and three something hours riding this morning, um, and my whole thing has always been, well, I don't want to drive more than too many hours, 200 k stop. Uh, where actually my experience right now is that I've ridden already for three three or four hours this morning uh, and I'm doing another hop of a probably two two to three hours two and a half hours three hours uh, now uh, to Francis town and it, uh, on it, it feels okay I don't feel like I'm exhausted I don't want to ride um, you know it feels okay here's another hop so it might well uh, change my calculations for when I'm going in between uh, cities. You know, when I get to Francistown to uh, to Rundu, you know, I was doing hops of 200 k's, which you know take a few hours and then you stop. The downside of that, of course, is that you're breaking camp. <clears throat> you know, making breaking camp 200 k's. Uh, you know, and that in itself could be. Yeah, it cuts both ways. It might be, well, I'm enjoying some campsite, but it could also just feel a little bit frustrating because it's not like you're going to a holiday place for a week. Um, you know, I'm there one night, set up camp, you know, find food, whatever, you know, break up camp the next morning, go, do a f only 200 k's, same routine, where it might be, hang on, you know in between places uh, depending on the weather so I mean well I've got rained on today but if the weather's cool you know it could well it could well be that you you know you ride for a couple of hours like I did now I did 260 k's to Palapia and that that wasn't hard you know it was a, it was a comfortable stretch 260 k's three hours three and a half hours something had a bit of a rest there and then I can do another another stretch. Uh, so there is something to, to sort of consider to maybe do a fuller day's riding um, so that you don't have break camp, make camp, break camp, make camp or uh, and you know in this part of the but this part of Botswana you know I've tended to well when I'm between towns I've kind of thought look let me um, just watching the traffic of it I thought let me do um, and I'm doing camping because when you of course it's a touristy part of Botswana 
you know the lodges or, or, or Airbnbs or whatever from 600 bucks up so the the the, the roofed accommodation let's call it um, it is comes in at a bit of a number um, all right uh, I'm well I'm gonna stop that's a good idea because the red light um, and then um, might switch off. Uh, well, well, yeah. Looks like peak peak traffic here in Palapia. Peak traffic here in Palapia. I can't see if it's green. It might be green, but there's no green light. Just uh, peak hour traffic. It's, I think it's a green light. Peak out traffic in Palapia, a nice spa over there. Um, okay. I hope all you guys back home enjoyed the drama of the rain. Uh, my gloves, I was wringing water out of my gloves when I got to that Caltech station was just a complete bloody what what um, so you can see the weather's clearing really I uh, whatsapped uh, the guys at Moray and I said I'm really sorry but I just I don't want to take the risk it's just uh, it's just too much edge you know just too much like oh but now I can get to Francis town and relax uh, catch up with some work or my tax stuff maybe uh, that's better. Okay, this is what? What's going on here? Let me just stop and see. I'm going out of it slowly. I don't know why. Apparently Moremi really really is beautiful so I'm sorry to have missed that on my Africa financial literacy tour but I'm sure there'll be another time I didn't put my rain suit on because I think it's the weather's going to be alright and then I'd rather of course let my jacket and pants and everything dry and my gloves that I'm wearing they'll they'll dry as we as we are on the road This is down 160. France is down 160. Uh, that thing telling me two and a half hours. Maybe that's right, but 160 feels like it should be two hours, averaging 80 k's an hour. If I'm if I'm typically riding at 100 or 90, 100 somewhere up there, then two hours should be doable.
करते हैं